everyone welcome back to my channel this is Liz from Liz's party designs today I'm coming to you with a some Dollar Tree items I found to apply some stickers to so the first thing I got was these bubbles here which is a pretty good deal I mean you're getting three in a pack so you're able to knock out three labels or three favors for a dollar and then from there you just add on whatever your pricing is going to be i haven't made the labels for these yet but i'm working on that now i have made labels for the wands i'm going to go ahead and pull out the rest of the stuff so that this bag isn't making too much noise um i also found these i've done these before i've sold these before even when i started my business i would sell these um, but you know, your business takes a turn sometimes and it just takes you to, takes you down different paths. Always follow the path that it takes you down because, I mean, you just never know what's up ahead for your success and change and all of that. So I'm going to open these. These I found in the wedding section and you're getting six of them. That is a good deal as well for a dollar. And these used to be like a white bottle. Now they're in a clear bottle. So I think I have, I still have the measurements for these uh, bubbles. I still have the me template measurement for this bubble label. So I'm going to go ahead and design one, place it on here. We can also make a little one for the top here, but that's if you want to go that far. You don't have to, but you can. So you get six of those in a pack and they're called the mini wedding bubbles next is a pack of m&ms this is the three ounce 3.10 ounce size and they have a wrapper on it well they have this clear film on it i'm going to take that film off and when i make my label i'm going to make the label for here I can make it for the sides all the way around, but I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to do the top so that we can see what kind of candy it is that we have under that wrapper. I've done the Skittles as well. I will do another one with the sticker paper. And this is going to all be with the glossy sticker paper. This box is a little different from the last time I got it. These have the holes on the side and you can see the packaging inside of the clear where the Skittles are in there. Okay, and this is a 3.5 ounce. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is part of my... No, it's not. I was going to say it's part of my template uh, files, but it's not. It's for the small ones. All right. I went on Amazon and I found this pack of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, it has 12 in a pack like this. And let me move this stuff out of the way really quickly. So I did open a pack already and I like the size of these. These had really good reviews. Um... I'm a review person. I like to read reviews on products that I do buy. I don't want to get something and it be not worth the money once I get it. And Amazon has a lot of people that review the items. So these seem to be the best reviewed out, uh, product that I found. And the wand is smooth. And for these, I made a Sesame Street theme because of the colors. Um, I made an Abby Cadabby, I made an Elmo, I made a Cookie Monster, I made a Big Bird, and what were the other few? Okay, I made two Elmos, a Big Bird, a Cookie Monster, and an Abby Cadabby. So I have a green one left. I could have made, I should have made the Oscar. Alright, so the next, the video after, the clip after this one will be... For all this other stuff, I just haven't designed the labels yet, but I will do that as soon as I get off of here. All right, so here is my printout. This is on the sticker paper. 
I'm not running this through my machine to cut because I'm only doing so many. Okay, this is the sticker paper. I have only did five, or let me see, yeah, five of them. Uh, so, of course, if you have more than five, I would run it through my machine. But for this project, I'm not. I'm going to start with the Abby Kadabi. That's really cute. This is for no one. These are just samples. And of course, if it's a if it's a boys party, I mean, you can still make some for the girls, and it'll still have the child's name on it. Or you can make get a list of your guests' children's your guests' children name, your guest child's name. <laughs> I don't know how to talk today. Um, and put their name on it instead of the birthday child's name, if that makes sense. So, like, if this little girl's going to the boys' party, um, you can put her name on it. So, there's the Abby Kadabi. Most of these cart, I mean, most of these uh, clip arts, you can, I found all these clip arts on Etsy. <laughs> So I got all my labels cut out. Here is the Elmo. I made two different Elmos, one with just his face and one with him standing. And then I got the Big Bird. And then I got these bunting flags from the ones you see here from Etsy as well. Um, those were just a bundle set from someone on Etsy. The background papers from Etsy I've had for a while. The street sign, I think, was the Google search, and so was the character. Okay, here's another one. This Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is really cute. And the Abby Kadabi. All right, so I'm going to pull out my wands. I think I want Elmo. Well, Cookie Monster, of course, I want on the blue one, the dark blue one. And these are pretty long. Let me see. These are how many inches are these? So with the liquid part is 10 inches, and then the handle with the handle all the way down is about 13 and a half inches, 14 and a half, something like that. So they're pretty big. You could do these on a table like a party favor. They could grab them themselves or give each child one as they leave your party or as they're at your party. <laughs> depending on <laughs> depending on what kind of mess you want at your home. If you're outside, okay, but if you're inside, that's a different story. You're gonna have bubbled water everywhere. <laughs> uh, speaking from experience, because I have uh <laughs> several nieces and nephews, so I know how that goes. All right, so let's see. And they will fight you with their to the end because they can't blow those bubbles. Ciao. All right, so I'm gonna get my Abby Kadabi, and this is a pretty good size label. So again, using my glossy sticker paper, I'm gonna peel the back of that, and I am going to. Get my label on there very nicely. And there we go. There's the bubble wand. Super cute. And now with summer here, I mean, you these are a great, great uh, party choice, party favor. All right, there's the pink one. I'm going to do the red one next, and the red one's going to be with the Elmo. Let's see, Elmo, I want Elmo, the standing Elmo. And then the light blue one could be the other Elmo. Because I have a light blue one, I have a green one as well, but I didn't open it. We'll see how it goes in just a minute. 
All right, I'm gonna line this up, just kind of try to eye it. And if you're a perfectionist, you probably wanna get out a ruler and a Sharpie or something and mark your, it doesn't matter to me, I'll just eye it. There's the elbow. You could make your label, I could have made the labels just a tad bit longer, but I really like the way these are because you can see the whole design. You're not having to roll your wand to see what the look the design looks like. Or to, you know, have to wrap it all the way around. It's up to you which how you want to do it. There's the Elmo wand. Super cute. Okay, let's do the Cookie Monster. This one is cute. I really love the colors. I love the color of this one. And, uh, Sesame Street is just the perfect. All right, Cookie Monster. Look how cute that looks with the blue. That is super cute. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to find just one solid color, like all blue, all pink. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention when I got these. Uh, they all did come in mixed colors. But, I mean, you would have to pick a theme that, was, that has mixed colors or just go with the flow and do... Just be colorful, I guess, and not be picky. Okay. Yellow for the big bird. I'm just going to roll it this time. So I'm not getting any wrinkles. Still got a wrinkle. okay there's the big bird look how cute those colors just go so well with the with the actual wand color like big bird's yellow with the yellow wand that looks really nice so i'll have pictures at the end to show you all and then my last color is the blue i actually have a green one too but i didn't have an extra label so that one's going to sit out in this one If I remember, I'll make an Oscar one and include it in the pictures at the end of the video. So once these are down, they're down. You're not going to be able to pull them back up. So just be super careful at applying your item or your sticker to your product because it's going to be... A hot mess to try to pull it back up and fix it once they're down and on there they're pretty much set all right everyone so I am back and I got the label made for our M&M package our Skittles package our mini bubble bottles there's six of those and then um, these are my other bubble bottles wrappers here. And this is the one for our other bubble wand. The one I had green, I had a green color, excuse me. I had the green color bubble wand left and I made him, I made it with the Oscar theme so i am going to go ahead and get everything cut out by hand 